This time on Fresh Air, we go to Cincinnati. Road trip! So, <laughs> I had a three-day weekend, and Zephy always has a three-day weekend, so Friday morning, we jumped in the car and headed down to Cincinnati. Zephy booked us an Airbnb, which she found... On Airbnb.com. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was a really good find. Uh, the view was fantastic. We jumped in the car, and it's a four-hour drive from Detroit to Cincinnati. And the, the, the story I got told is... Dang, 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 he was convinced dang. it was here. We got a little bit of rain during the drive, but overall, it was pretty smooth. Until we got there, and it just <laughs> started pouring on us. It was insane. Yes. And then the GPS rerouted us in this crazy... Check out this reroute situation. Right away we went... We got a beer. Yeah. Right away we got a beer at this place called... The Incline. Yeah, and it overlooked uh, Cincinnati and it really had a beautiful view and it was still raining a little bit, but it was enough to get out and take a few pictures and shoot a little bit of video. After that, we went to the room. We went to the Airbnb. We climbed a million stairs to get to our room. Yeah, the Airbnb hit was three stories up. Yeah, we don't deal with stairs. It was two and a half much flights in our daily of life. <laughs> <laughs> or the Airbnb was right at the end of a dead end. Yeah, it was a weird road. It was like it went and then there was like a blockade and then more road, but it was super overgrown. And there were like trees and the signs that had like vines and stuff growing up over them. And then you kept going down that road and there was another blockade. What is that boom? Is that, is that fireworks? And we sat up and there was just this beautiful firework display. It was like off in the distance though, so we could see it. So it just these little like fireworks. You could see the entire city skyline. It was gorgeous. It was really romantic. Okay. <laughs> so in the morning, we woke up <laughs> and decided that it was still supposed to be rainy and um, my favorite spot, one of my favorite spots in the country is Red River Gorge and so we decided to go check that out uh, day two. We did a little bit of exploring. We went to two different locations um, to shoot some nudes. One was uh, pretty secluded. I knew it from climbing. There's a really good climbing spot there. And then the second location was right on the roadside where there's a really beautiful waterfall, but we figured we could get away with taking a few quick stills. Yeah. Both times I got to lay on rocks. Like big, 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 massive rocks. The first one was covered in moss and it was the softest, most incredible experience. It was like laying on moss. Moss. The last spot that we had to check out while down there is Miguel's Pizza. And Miguel's mm -hmm. Pizza is the shit. Anybody that goes down there definitely knows that. Um, and they've changed a lot because they haven't been there in five years, but that was enough. We decided to head back to Cincinnati. So day three, we woke up in the morning and uh, we had to check out of our Airbnb and got ready to go shoot with Allie and Adam. Yeah, we met up with Adam and Allie at Adam's photo studio and they showed us up to the fifth story of a really cool old building so there are a lot of shoot locations. Yeah. And so we just kind of had a blast. Um, Allie and Zephy did a couple shoots together with Adam. Um, I was able to shoot two different sets with Allie, one for my Patreon and one for hers. Um, and, and I got to shoot with Adam just a bunch of random one-off stuff, a lot of portrait things, which has been really interesting and fun for me lately. After the shoot, Adam and Allie showed us around Cincinnati and uh, they took us to Finley Market and they had a pretty epic selection of meats and especially bacon. Oh my god, that bacon bender. They had a thousand different kinds of bacon. Mm -hmm. um, Pretty epic. We went through there, it was super chill. There's a band playing out front. Um, we decided to pick up barbecue and go check out the brewery. Yeah, 
uh, Rangeist. I had been there once before and I was very familiar with the rooftop especially, um, but it turns out that one of our friends worked there um, and so they wanted to take us there to scope it out, have a beer, eat our barbecue, and chill. Yeah, it's a cool spot. If you're in Cincinnati, you should check it out. There's a, it's just a huge open space and people run it for parties. I'm sorry, there's... <laughs> And they throw that silly ass game where you throw bee bags around. Yeah, cornhole. Playing some cornhole. <laughs> I hate that name. And that pretty much wrapped it up. They uh, gave yeah. us a tour of that and we um, said our goodbyes and got on the road and it was about a four hour drive back to Detroit. Get your hands out, that's good. Ready? So definitely uh, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel because we want to do a bunch more content like this. Yeah, we love driving around, meeting up with babes, getting naked on rocks, and just shooting, driving, eating, drinking. It's a good time. Yeah. So we will see you next time. Au revoir.